In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to install OpenLink's Single Tier Express Edition drivers for Informix. I'll be working on a Mac OS X client operating system. Before I begin the install, I do want to point out that it's a good idea to have your evaluation or permanent license key somewhere on your Mac system. This will enable you to use our installer's browse feature to pick up and implement the license during the install process. This renders your driver ready for use as soon as the install completes. If you choose to obtain a license post-installation, use of the product will be delayed until that license is in place. That said, let's begin the install procedure. We're going to double click on the disk image file that contains the product installer. In my case, that disk image is named MUL6EINF.DMG. Your own installer should have the same or similar name. This DMG will produce a meta package or .mpkg file. We want to double click that. A splash screen and warning dialog will come up. Click the continue button on both elements in the installer. So we click continue here and again here. This is the README that ships with all of our product installers. You do want to look that over. Click continue. Likewise, we suggest that you do read the terms of the license agreement that ships with all of our software. Then you do want to click continue. Provided that you agree with the terms of the license agreement, then you would click this Agree button here. Select the destination volume for your software install. Click Continue. Here you will see a Change Install Location button. If you click this button, you will be able to change the default location of the OpenLink Express Edition install. However, if you are new to use of OpenLink software, we suggest that you go with the default and just click the Install button like I'm doing here. Installation does require administrative privileges, so you do want to provide your administrative username and password. Click OK. Give the product some time to install. This portion of the install is complete. However, we do have to license the product. So click this close button. Here you will see a license dialog. Sometimes it can pop under other windows that may be open on your system. So if you don't see it immediately, just minimize or close out some other windows until you find it. This dialog gives us two options. If you do not have a permanent license key or evaluation key, you can click the Try or Buy license. This will bring you to OpenLink's home page so that you can obtain the type of license that you want and need. Alternatively, you can use the existing license button to browse for a license that you have on your macOS 10 client host. If you're not familiar with OpenLink's license naming conventions and you're not sure whether or not you have a license, the installer does provide you with the name of the license that it's looking for. Here you see that we need ee underscore inf underscore lt dot lic. I actually have this license right here on my desktop. I'll move things around to show you. This is the license file that the installer is looking for. So I'm going to click use existing license and I'm going to drill down into my user's desktop. Go users, Nutristica Tom, desktop, and here we see ee e e underscore inf underscore lt dot lic, that's our license file and we're going to choose it. At this point the product is installed, licensed, and ready for use. This concludes this lesson.